hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so if you are new to this channel you're welcome to the family and to all my existing subscribers thank you so kindly for your support so today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to make this cute pinafore dress that can be paired up with a t-shirt or a top and it will come out beautiful kindly stay tuned so for this project i'm going to be using my ankara fabric of two yards and then i'm going to be using the lining of half yard and an air stay just to make the ankara firm in structure and lastly i'm going to be using my zip so i'll be drawing a straight line this will serve as our starting point and i'll be imputing our shoulder measurements divided by two but i will subtract one from the figure so one inches from the figure so your shoulder measurement divided by two then you subtract one from the figure next i'll be imputing my neckline i will advise you use a bigger um, neckline width for this purpose because um, there is no zip at the back it's only at the side of the skirt so that your the individual head can be able to pass through the neckline so you get a comfortable width or you use the basic width and then you extend the depth of the neck whichever ways work perfectly so that you'll be able to fit in so next i'm going to be taking the half bodies measurements which is from the shoulder point to the waistline and i'm going to be minusing one inch because i will also attach a band and the band length will be one inch so whatever measurements you get from your shoulder to your waist you minus one inches for band intake so next i'm going to be taking our waist measurements you know normally we usually take our waist measurements divided by four and impute the value but this time around after taking that um, value i will also divide it by two again because this is a pinafore dress it doesn't cover the entire body so after that i will extend it from my shoulder line down to the waist So we're through with the front um, pattern all you just need for this pattern is just the neckline and your waist measurements so we'll be altering the back you can decide to use the same neckline for both the front and the back you can have um variation like what i'm doing but at the end make sure that it can fit into the individual head don't make your neckline too narrow because there is no zip at the back So I'll proceed to cut out the back pattern so that I can cut it on my fabric before cutting out the front. Please do not forget to add in your shoulder slant before cutting it out. You must add your shoulder slant. Your shoulder is not straight. So I'll be using half inch for this pattern because this is for a child. For an adult, you use one inch. So I'll be using this pattern to cut out the back first. Since um, the difference is just the neckline, there is no need cutting out two different pattern. That's why I'm just using this same one pattern. So I'll cut out the back first before cutting out the front. So I'll go ahead to pin it so that my pattern will be in place while cutting on the fabric. Then next, I will proceed in adding half inch sewing allowance at the sides. Two, 
I will be cutting it out now. So I'm removing the um, pin from the pattern because I'll be using this same pattern to cut out the front. And mind you, when I cut out my fabric, it was on fold. So by the time you open it up, this is how it is because my pattern, I um, draft my pattern on fold. So I'll go ahead to cut out the neckline for that of the front and I'll replace it on my fabric and cut it out. So this is both my front and back pattern so this is how it is and i'll be cutting the same on my lining and the sd so i've cut out both the lining piece and the sd using the same pattern for the front and the back so i'll be using the sd especially this part that has the roughness that is the part you're going to be using to stick on the ankara you're going to place it as you can see from the video and then when you iron it it will give the ankara this firm structure so i've gone ahead to iron the st and this is how it looks like next i'll be using the lining to turn over the neckline so i'll be placing the right side of the um, lining and the right side of the ankara together and sew the neckline and flip it over as you can see from the video So I'm done sewing the neckline for both the front and the back and I also notch the neckline so that when I'm flipping it over it will be easy and it will stay properly as you can see from the video. Then I'll proceed to iron it out. So after ironing this is how I'm going to be sewing our shoulder. So the Ankara both the front and the back will face each other as you can see from the video and the lining and i'm going to sew my shoulder slant like that to give it a good finishing at the end so this is how when i'm done ironing it and attaching the shoulder this is how the shoulder and uh, seam looks like inside it's perfect so next i'm going to be sewing the sides in order to get a perfect finishing at the side, you're going to watch the video because I'll try my best to explain it in the way you can understand. But watching the video, you understand it better. So I'm going to be taking the Ankara fabric, that is both the front and the back, and I'm going to roll it over so that it will be able to meet with the lining. And then I will bring it out. You'll be very careful with it so that you don't pick the other side so next once i get the lining and the ankara i'm going to sew it in such manner so this is how yours should look like while doing it so next i'm going to be sewing the ankara and the fabric together so you have to be careful so that you don't pick the other side lining or ankara so that is how it's going to be i'll try and do it slowly for the other side in case you don't seem to get it at this first point So I'm done sewing one part of the side and I'm going to be bringing it out from the waist. So by the time I'm done bringing it out, you are going to see that it is um, perfectly finished. The side seam is neatly finished. So this is it the side seam is neatly finished as you can see so i'll be doing the same procedure for the other side and i believe this time around if you didn't get it at first you are going to understand it much better because i'm repeating the same procedure so i'll do it again for you to see it so 
so i'll try and do it slowly this time around so i'm going to be taking the ankara fabric and i'm going to be bringing it over like rolling it up to meet with the lining and i will make sure that the ankara shoulder and the fab um, lining shoulder meet together they must align properly then i'm going to sew it so after sewing like i did for the first part i'm going to be bringing it out from the waist region So as you can see it's neatly finished but the inside and the outside it's really looking beautiful so i'm going to take it to my ironing table to press out the seam and you'll you'll see that it will come out so perfect So I'm done ironing it and this is how it came out like I said earlier it's going to look perfect and it is perfect so right here I also have four strips I'll be using it for the band so for the length of the band I'll be using two inches because I'll be using half inch at the bottom and the top to sew why for the width the width you're going to take um, the measurement half of your measurement of your waist then you're going to add your zipper allowance so mine is um i'm using a waist of 22 so half of it is 11 then i added my zipper allowance so my band width is 12 inches so next you're going to find the midpoint and then also find the midpoint of the bodies and notch it because we're going to be placing it so that it aligns properly so right now i'm going to be placing one part of the band at the top and the other part of the band below so the bodies will be sandwiched in between the band So after aligning them properly, I'm going to sew it and I will do same for the other parts. So this is the front, I will do same for the back parts. So after placing the band, this is how it came out looking neatly finished. So next I will be adding the skirt parts. So for the skirt part, I've gone ahead to cut out two pieces, one for the front and one for the back. And I'll be using my desired length. At the end, I want my length to be 12 inches. So I'll be using 13 inches for this because I'll be hemming the down parts with one inch. So at the end, I'm going to arrive at 12 inches. The yardage of fabric I'll be using for both the front and the back will be 2 yards each making it 4 yards in total because I want that ball dress effect to be on this pinafore as you can see from the thumbnail. So for the skirt part, you have to hem one part of the skirt which is the down part then the other part which will serve as the top will be used to gather. So I'm going to be showing you two methods which you can gather um, your skirt so the first is the machine while using your machine you will have to use the lowest tension and you do not have to back stitch and you have to sew a very loose stitch
so this is just a mini illustration you have to sew the loose stitch all the way to the other end after that you will have um two strand of thread as you can see then you have to pull the top one if you are pulling the top part then you don't have to pull the down part so you have to pick one and then pull it will form the gather effect while pulling to form the gathered stitch you have to be very careful because once you break any seam you have to start all over again so to avoid that stress i'm going to show you this other part which is like the manual part using your thread and needle to gather so before you start your gathered stitch you have to leave half inch for the zipper part or one inch whatever allowance you left for your zipper you have to leave it so that you don't gather that part it has to be straight so next you proceed to um, gather the rest part of the skirt as you can see from the video this is how you are going to run your gather stitch manually i'm used to this method and it works faster for me so depending on what method you are comfortable with you can do it on your machine comfortably there are some machines that has this gathered um, effect so you don't really have to pull it to automatically gather for you so whatever you are comfortable with just do it as long as you have the desired result so when you get to the other part for this manual you also have to leave half inch the way you left from the beginning so this is it So next I'll be taking the bodies with the band and then attaching it with this kit which we just gathered. So I'll be spreading the gathers evenly across the band. So I'll do same for both the front parts and the back parts. So I'll be sewing with a straight stitch do not use gather stitch for this or less tension you have to sew with your normal sewing stitch so you could see the effect now i've attached both the front and the back you could see how beautiful it is so the more yardage you use the more ballish you get for the dress effect so this is it So I'll be merging the side seam together and I'll make sure that the bands, both the front and the back, align properly. So I'll go ahead to sew one part of the side seam. I'll close it up from the beginning, that's from the band to the hem, while the other part I'm going to stop halfway to attach the zip. After attaching the zip to the dress, the dress is ready. If you've watched to this point, please do not forget to like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in our next tutorial. Bye!